True fans live for their team. For those true U of A fans, there is Hughes Federal Credit Union. Show your U of A spirit and put technology and convenience at your fingertips. Hughes Federal Credit Union. Smart choice. Welcome to Greg Hansen's Video Notebook, brought to you by Hughes Federal Credit Union. I'm Star Sports Editor Brian Finley here with Greg Hansen. Greg, they call it the silly season in college football. It's the coaching carousel that usually starts at the end of November. My goodness, Greg, it's barely November. There's already 10 open Division 1A jobs, including some pretty good ones. South Carolina is open, USC is open, and as of Sunday, Virginia Tech is open. Relevant only to us in that Rich Rodriguez has an in at Virginia Tech. And you know who set the trend here? Mm -hmm. Not Greg Byrne. Provincial, Greg Byrne. Greg showed Byrne. showed that if you can start your search in October, mm -hmm. you have a head start on everybody. Mm -hmm. So maybe that's the way it's going to be from now on. Maybe. You know, it's funny. When, Ar when Arizona fired Mike Stoops, uh, he was one of three openings in college football, and the only major opening. I mean, New Mexico had fired Mike Loxley for... Uh, a series yeah. of untoward issues, and somebody else uh, at a small college was fired before the year. And you look at it now, there are 10 openings, it's November 1st, there's going to be another 10 in the next month at minimum. I think this is the way athletic directors do business now. Mm -hmm. You gotta be a step ahead of the herd, and they apparently are. But if you're a coach, a sitting coach, and you are in a submarine basically for 12 weeks during the season, True. can you come up for air to interview for a job? Is no. that fair? I don't think it happens. Mm -hmm. You know, you. Now on the internet you hear, oh, Virginia Tech's already talked to Rich Rod. That did not happen. Right. It's not going to happen. I can't imagine any coach would take a call mm. from anyone except an agent. And even then, talking to an agent is pretty scurrilous. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I agree. To me, though, the question is, has, does Rich Rod have enough of a body of work at Arizona to be attractive to a school like Virginia Tech, even in a year in which the Wildcats are probably going to go 5-7? and seven? Here's my answer. It's 238 miles from Morgantown, West Virginia, to Blacksburg, mm -hmm. Virginia. Mm -hmm. That's, you know, where he coached, right. where he might coach. Where he grew up, where he lived. Yeah. And they remember what he did at West Virginia mm -hmm. very well. Mm -hmm. They played, Virginia Tech and West Virginia played five consecutive years when Rich Rod was the coach. Mm -hmm. So they, that's still fresh yeah. in football years. They know him, and they'll be able, if he goes, if they offer him the job, They'll be able to sell this year because mm -hmm. he'll say, last year Arizona won a division title mm -hmm. and they had a bevy of injuries. Right. But the big question, is Arizona a better job? The Virginia Tech? Yeah. I think it's right there with it now. Mm -hmm. Ten years ago you would have said no. Right. Um, Virginia Tech was better and Arizona was worse. Right. You're right. I think Arizona's potentially better. Mm -hmm. Being in the Pac-12 South is also a, a coaching killer, I think, mm -hmm. down the line. Mm -hmm. And I think Rich Rod's finding that out now. And if there is a search for his replacement, I think that's one thing a potential candidate would think about right away is I could go in there and get my brains beat out. I'm sure. Are we putting the cart ahead of the horse here? Yes. Thinking that there's a that, that a five and seven coach and a guy who has stated repeatedly that he's happy here would just leave because there's a job opening? I agree with that hundred mm -hmm. percent. The little kicker to it is just that Rich Rod has those roots in the Virginia area. Mm -hmm. Very interesting stuff. Just when you think the Arizona Wildcats have kind of are who you thought they are, <laughs> who you think they are. There we go. I got to get the I got to get the phrase down. Just when you think they are who they are, this stuff comes up, and all of a sudden you're thinking, oh, coaching search. But it's except for you. Yes. It's fun. <laughs> it's fun when you don't have to fill the newspaper every day and make yeah. phone calls. Yeah. Um, that'll do it for this episode of Greg Hansen's Video Notebook, brought to you by Hughes Federal Credit Union. For Greg Hansen, real quick. What was your favorite coaching search ever? Oh, man. That's a really good one. It was when Arizona hired Lute Olson. Yeah? Because Jack Rickard of the Tucson Citizen, my great friend, mm. predicted it, that Arizona would hire this great Final Four coach from Iowa when Arizona was 4-24. And, and everybody and laughed at him? Yeah, and Jack Rickard, I hope he watches this at some point. <laughs> he nailed it. Wow. I'm Ryan Finley. We'll see you next time. True fans live for their team. They buy the gear. They order the tickets. They pay for the seats and the experiences. For those true U of A fans, thankfully, there is Hughes Federal Credit Union, offering the latest payment choices such as U of A debit cards, paying online, paying a friend with pop money, or using Apple Pay with your mobile phone. 
Show your U of A spirit and put technology and convenience at your fingertips. Use Federal Credit Union. Smart choice.